Hey guys, today I want to talk about side chaining and how to uh, use it on your drop uh, and your song. You can use it whatever you want, really. I'm going to talk about um, the way of side chaining that makes the track pump. Um, it's used in a lot of dance dance genres. Uh, yeah, it's it's really a pretty standard thing to do nowadays, especially when making electro music. I'm going to show you the part that I'm uh, going to sidechain and then I'm going to show you how to make this sidechain. Okay, take a listen. Okay, so we're going to sidechain this bass lead right here. because it doesn't have enough pump I think. So we're going to start out putting a compressor on the bass lead channel, activate the side chain, side chain I mean, and then we need a trigger. A trigger sends signal into the compressor so that it has uh, some something to make it pump. pump. I'll show you. I like to I like to use the bass drum but I duplicate it and I make sure that the duplicate of the bass drum does not have an out signal no bus on the output then you may want to put the channel at 0 dB and then you need to send this channel to sidechain and you can see that the name of the compressor comes up and you pick that one, activate it and pull it all up to zero like this we can call this trigger organization is very important okay let's take a listen and just the bass lead and the trigger okay it's working fine great so it, has to, it has to work right, right? So I'm putting the threshold down, the ratio up, and I'm going to overdo it. Listen now. Okay, this is where I like to play with the release time to make it pump right and right tempo and have the right feeling. Uh, you can, of course, you can uh, change the attack time too, and whatever floats your boat. It had all the makes it different and yeah, whatever. So I'm gonna play with the release time to make it pump in the right tempo. Okay, this sounds right to me. Maybe this sound right sound right to you. But I like this on this on this song. Okay, so the threshold and ratio is clearly, no, not clearly, because maybe you like this, but I think it has to go up a bit more. It doesn't have to pump that much. Okay, so if you're wondering what, what the threshold does, what the ratio does, etc., you should read up on compressors, but um, quickly, the threshold determines how much of the signal that's uh, that's being uh, processed or uh, where the roof is and the ratio is is how much of the signal above the roof that's being processed when it's at 4 it's at 4 to 1 so that means that 1 fourth is coming out the attack is how fast the compressor works and the release is how it releases the signal after having the trigger come in and the hold is how long it's gonna hold when you're compressing okay read up on compressors let's listen okay let's listen without the lead I'll lead okay this sounds good 
Let's take a listen with the other lead and the compressor bypassed and I will compress I uh, I will uh will bypass it and put it back in when you're listening so you can feel the difference. Okay, and if you want to go real deep into it, you can start by automating. I can show you real quick if you want to. This is the area right here on the trigger send. It's how much of the trigger that's going to be sent to the compressor. So let's try by by uh, using automation and make it bounce more or less or of course you can automate the threshold or whatever you want but this is a nice way to do it so take a listen okay so you have to be more uh, surgic about it obviously when you do it yourself but that's a way to do it. I rarely use this myself, but just so you know. Have a good day.